Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2025, and we are here in the booth of Gradient Health. We are here with Josh Miller. He is CEO of Gradient Health, and with Bo Jones, he is CEO of Data First. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having us. So I'm Josh Miller. I'm the CEO of Gradient Health. What we do is we make de-identified data available at scale to kind of all of the folks here on the AI floor and make sure it's diverse, representative, uh, and ethical, and then folks build AI on top of that, go through their regulatory filings, and eventually get uh, quality AI to patients. Awesome. Uh, Bo, what do you guys do at Data First? Hey, Brian. Uh, hi, uh, Bo Jones. I am the CEO and president of Data First. We provide really two verticals of business. One is uh, data migration services, uh, where someone is moving data from one PAX to another. Uh, my team will come alongside and provide turnkey solutions to do that. And then secondarily, we provide an interoperability engine that sits uh, as middleware within an enterprise imaging ecosystem and provides both intelligence uh, as well as the ability to identify failures in that patchwork quilt of systems and moving studies from A to B with a high level of AI and intelligence. Awesome. So you mentioned AI, and uh, that's been a big trend here already at RSNA. It's the first day, but it's been a big trend already. And it's been a big trend at previous RSNAs. But what are you seeing out in the, in the radiology world with imaging sites that are, that, that, you know, they hear about AI and they, they, they want to start doing it, but they're just not sure what, what to do? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. Uh, the truth is, AI means a lot of things to a lot of different people. Uh, our product sits in the middle of this imaging ecosystem and uh, effectively allows the user to access data in certain ways and move it in certain ways. I've always believed that you can never go wrong listening to your partners, the people that you've come alongside to build products with, and effectively Silverback is a framework that allows for us to hear those requests and actually put them into play. And one specific request that we've seen over and over, as you just noted, is how do I, Hospital XYZ, how do I take my data and provide it into an environment that can be used for research, for pharma uh, testing and for AI development? And what we do with our partnership with Gradient is allow hospitals to monetize their data by way of identifying information, submitting it up to a middle market or a, or a data lake, uh, anonymizing that information, and then allowing pharmas to come in, access that information, and purchase it. And so this is all de-identified, HIPAA compliant, all that kind of stuff, crosses all the T's, dots the I's? It is. Okay, so Josh, uh, you guys are announcing an alliance, or you, you've, you've recently announced an alliance, between uh, Gradient Health and Data First. Can you talk a little bit about the alliance and what you're hoping to accomplish with it? Yeah, we're, we're most excited about the scale that Data First brings to what we're doing. So when you talk about building an AI, you need to make sure it's trained on a representative data set. And so if you just end up with a small data set that's from one hospital or two hospitals, you never end up having a product get built that works for all kinds of patient populations. The Next thing that they kind of need to do um, in order to, to progress to that next level in AI is to have these diverse data sets. So we're trying to help hospitals and all sorts of providers make that diverse data available to the folks that are building AI and pharma. So that way, when those AI and pharmaceuticals get to market, they work for the patients in their own patient population. Right. Perfect. Now, what are you highlighting here at RSNA that kind of accomplishes some of these, these goals? Yeah, so we're making an offering through Data First uh, for any of the hospitals that have Silverback as a product to make their data super easily available within our environment to AI companies. And we hope to kind of build that triangle out of hospitals have data, they make that data available to the folks that are doing research. That, that research produces a product that's really valuable that ultimately makes it back to the patient uh, and that hospital's population. And you're also launching Atlas II here. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so it's a major upgrade. A lot of folks in the space are familiar with Atlas V1, which is our product that lets you search across all of this data. Now we're launching Atlas V2. It's got 
20 million studies within it. And hopefully, uh, through our partnership with Data First, it will be many more soon to come. All right, very good. And Bo, what are you guys talking about at RSNA over at Data First? We're continuing to evolve our Silverback platform, uh, both in terms of access into AI, uh, but also we brought a, set, a, a level of metrics and an, an, an analysis into the data that flowing through our system that allow hospitals to understand what's going on in their environment. Not just to understand what's going on, but empowered now with tools to resolve those conflicts. A study that's not making it to the end result. Uh, instead of getting a call from Dr. Jones at three o'clock in the morning because they didn't get a study, we identify that before it actually happens. We're proactive in that. We alert the users that this has happened and they have the ability to access that figure out why the study didn't make it and resend it. So that's one of many things that our tools are doing that we're actually showing in a very practical way at the show today. All right, perfect. Well, Bo Jones of Data First and uh, Josh Miller of Gradient Health, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Thanks. thanks Brian. All right, signing off for the Imaging Wire, my name is Brian Casey. <laughs>